मौजूद नाजीन अस्सलाम वालेकुम हेल्थ फॉर ऑल फॉर एवर चैनल में खुश आमदीद आज हमारी इस चैनल में एक मेहमान हैं नन्हे मुन्ने मेहमान हैं मास्टर जुलकर नैन ग्रेड सेवन के स्टूडेंट हैं और इन्होंने एक प्रेजेंटेशन बनाई और उसको हम आज आपके साथ शेयर करते हैं क्योंकि हमारी सेहत में पोल्यूशन एक बहुत बड़ा फैक्टर है उसको डिस्टर्ब करता है और ग्लोबल वार्मिंग जो आज का एक बर्निंग इशू है तो इस मौजू पे हमारे नन्हे दोस्त जो हैं ग्रेड सेवन के स्टूडेंट वो बात करेंगे जुलकर नैन Assalamu alaikum my name is Muhammad Zulkar Nain and I am in grade 7A today I will be talking about global warming which is one of the major threats to our environment what is global warming well to understand what global warming is we have to understand what the greenhouse effect is now what is the greenhouse effect well in at the start sunlight coming from the sun enters the earth through the atmosphere this is called the atmosphere it is a blanket surrounding the earth that is made up of gases that protect the earth from harmful rays so the sunlight has gone through the atmosphere and has touched the surface of the earth now because of this both the earth and the atmosphere around it become warm and start to get hot now in response to this the earth begins to cool down and gives out infrared radiation and this helps the earth cool down but there is some radiation that gets trapped inside of the atmosphere now this uh, radiation starts to warm up the earth's surface and this is how life is on earth but since this is actually helping life grow on earth then how is this a threat at first the earth was a happy place and it did not have any pollution on it but the greenhouse effect was still there and that's how life was on earth so all was good but then 
in the 20th century, industries began to form. And these factories that would appear around the planet started creating smoke with toxins and polluting the air. And this made things a little bit worse. But now, uh, but now the pollution, the greenhouse gases in pollution, which are gases that help trap heat inside of them, like CO2. So these help trap gas uh, heat inside of them. Now, because of this, global warming came. And now the earth is as hot as ever and will continue to get hotter, uh, will continue get, to get more hot if we don't do anything to help reduce this. Now, here are some facts that I think are important. The first is that global warming is melting the ice and glaciers in the North Pole and South Pole. And because of this, uh, even the fishes that live near that area or the other animals over there will, uh, their hab first of all, their habitat will change around them. And because of this, they might die and become extinct. Next, we have increase in droughts. Now, if there are more droughts because of the heat from global warming, then agriculture and produce, they won't uh, be able to grow. Crops won't be able to grow. So you won't have any plants now. And because of this, not only do we get harmed, but the animals also get harmed by this. Next, we have floods. Now, because of the ice melting, because of the ice melting, sea levels will begin to rise. And they will rise until uh, they flood the earth. And these floods will be dangerous. And they will be very big floods. And the major cause for global warming that I think is the major cause is air pollution because all of the smoke that comes out from the air have these greenhouse gases in them and these greenhouse gases actually cause global warming. So, uh, this is not good. So, we have to reduce air pollution and make it stop so that we can help stop uh, global warming. How can we help solve this problem? Well, first, we should not stop global warming. 
First, because it is physically impossible and there is no way to stop global warming. And even if we did find a way, then we'd have to stop the greenhouse effect, which would end all life on Earth. But if we reduce it, first, we'll still have the greenhouse effect. And secondly, because of that, life will still be here on Earth. Even though global warming will also be here, it will be in low amount of quantity. So, what's next? What is the next part that we have to do? Do not release greenhouse gases like uh, CO2, methane, etc. Because, as I said before, they come in pollution. Uh, they come in the pollution, air pollution, and these greenhouse gases that trap the heat help in global warming. So we sh and we release these greenhouse gases almost every day first because companies burn them uh, to get energy so first part is because we burn them and we even burn them in our homes uh, most of their uh, most of the time And there's also another way that is um, because we do not help stop it, like uh, trees, they take in carbon dioxide and release oxygen. So the carbon dioxide is gone. So we, if we plant more trees, then we help stop releasing greenhouse gases. And then the third and final one, start using renewable energy resources. Now this coal, uh, coal it's not renewable. And it does release greenhouse gases. But if we use a way that is renewable, if we use a way that is renewable, there will be no greenhouse gases emitted from it. And it does not help pollution or global warming. Thank you for listening. Bye.